Welcome to another Nature Discovery screencast. Look over my shoulder and watch as I look for the pure beauty found in nature from the raw videos and photos taken on one of my photo walks. The date of this photo walk was August 25, 2016, and it took place at my NC Creekside Nature Preserve in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, and that's in the United States. Okay, today we're going to look at about, it eh, looks like about 12 clips here. And we're looking at Final Cut Pro X on a Mac. The photo walk again was August 25th and it was in the North Carolina Creekside Nature Preserve. This preserve is a private preserve that I've developed on what is really an industrial site, but it's the end of the site that hasn't been touched in, oh, <laughs> 20 or 30 years, and it's been left grow, except for a narrow pasture along the creek. That narrow pasture is actually a right-of-way for the town for the sewage lines. So they mow that once a year around uh, late October, early November. And that gives us ever so many things, plants and creatures to look at over the course of the summer. And... Uh, we're starting off today with a uh, red spotted purple butterfly. That's the name of it, a red spotted purple. And a uh, little bit of uh, breeze blowing. The camera's steady, but the, uh, <laughs> the butterfly is moving around quite a bit in the breeze. And uh, what we're doing is we're marking each video and we're finding the favorite portion of the video here that we may use later in 30 second nature videos. And what we're gonna do here is use the keyboard keys I and O to mark the in and out of a favorite. And we can scrub through at very slow speed the videos and really see what's going on here. The lighting wasn't super good, <laughs> but when I'm walking through a narrow path in the meadow, I often don't have a choice as to uh, keeping the sun to my back and uh, having the best lighting I can get. If I want a picture of the critters, I've got to go with the lighting I've got sometimes. It's not like a studio where you can set up your subjects and get them perfect. Nature video is a, a tough one. Here he's cleaning his face. Looks like he's getting ready to fly. Oh. First, we have to leave a deposit, and then we can take off. <laughs> All right. So let's, uh, right before he starts cleaning his face is the in, and the out is uh, right there at the end as he takes off. We'll mark that one as a favorite. And you can see the little green line has shown up 
for my uh, favorite video up here and then I can go up and actually choose to see just the favorites later on and what I'm left with then is just that little piece of video without all the other uh, unnecessary video attached to it so that's why we go through and uh, we select the favorites uh, for video we can use later and here we have I believe it's some sort of uh, you'd want to say grasshopper right away but I think the proper term when they have the long antennas like this are a katydid and uh, he just sort of hanging around there looks like he's working let's look at this in slow motion beautiful little creature in the light there you can actually see I don't know if it's his heart beating or whether he's breathing there that you can see his upper abdomen going in and out. I love these creatures with their mouth and their mouth parts. They have what looks like little short arms located around their mouth and here you can see he's kind of working with those arms. I don't know if he's putting uh, some pollen or something he's gotten off of the plant that he's on in his mouth or he's just cleaning the mouth area. So we have uh, there he's kind of looking down. You can see the range of motion that he has. kind of goes backwards. He starts in the light and he goes down. I think if I do something with the video I'm going to actually make it backwards. I'm going to make the 30 second video out here. And one of the things you can do when you actually create the video is you can make the whole thing go backwards. <laughs> and if we do that then he's going to be in the shade. He's going to be working his mouth parts and then he's going to come up and display himself in the sun before the end of the video clip. So I think that's going to be marked a favorite there. Now we have some sort of wasp here just kind of roaming around. The lighting's not too good. I love the way they use um, their antenna to uh, help them find the way. It's got an orange body to him. And this particular wasp too, I've noticed before, he he's constantly moving his wings, setting them, moving his wings, setting them as he's walking around on objects. So Yes, uh, we'll make an in here, and uh, let's look at that in slow motion as he's coming up, moving around. All right, make that and out. Call that a favorite. Now we have here. Uh, what's called thread waisted wasps. Very, very narrow waist. And uh, this is a pair of uh, mating thread waisted wasps. I have the proper name of the wasp, but it is so long, <laughs> I'd never be able to pronounce it. Um, so these guys are just sitting there in the process of mating. Now, there's a blurry spot there because there's a branch in front of them <laughs> between the camera and uh, the subjects there. It's making it kind of blurry, but this is some interesting video and I don't think we're going to throw this video away because of the blur there. 
I'm uh, this is an unusual piece of video I'll make that the out and we'll make that entire thing a favorite there and here they've flown to another branch Let's favorite now we have here a tiny little butterfly I'm not even sure what kind of butterfly at this point he doesn't he doesn't really open up for us too well does he just it's about the <laughs> the most open you're gonna see him at I think there Just uh, leave that in there and make that a favorite. All right, now we have a <laughs> grasshopper here. I'm not sure we have to do some research to figure out exactly what kind of grasshopper. And if you hear that motorboat sound, that means I'm walking or uh, just processing right through the video one frame at a time here and there's 60 frames of video in a second so you can see I'm going very very slow through the video here and uh, you can see his motions and how he works his legs and his his front legs and his rear legs I'm not sure I don't see any breathing coming out of any parts of his body there. And he's going to decide to start moving here at some point. No, he's not moving too quick, is he? Beautiful grasshopper. Let's, uh, whoop, get something there. He goes to finally take a step. He's kind of searching around with his front leg in midair. Oh! <laughs> All right. I guess we can't say that grasshoppers are the most graceful creatures in the world <laughs> look at the face look at the face it's like he got he's got eyelids over his eyes it looks like <laughs> cute grasshopper all right let's let's uh, mark that right about there as an out and right before he takes his stumble as an in and we'll make that our favorite there all right now we have a red banded hair streak butterfly and he's just sitting pretty on top of a leaf uh, was doing this for a little while he allowed uh, me to take the time to set the tripod on a steady footing and and get the camera zoomed in on them and focused. When I'm uh, doing video like this, uh, here in the nature preserve, I'm on a narrow little mode trail that I maintain because the plants get to be four, six feet high, and uh, I could never get through there uh, without having at least one little mode path. And uh, my camera has a fixed telephoto lens on it. I do not have a DSLR. I do not have different lenses I can use, but it has instead a fixed telephoto. 
the camera I use, a, a fine Pix S1, is a, a, a 50 times optical zoom. It's got a seven way image stabilization in it. So if we move the camera a little bit, it helps uh, stabilize the image, almost like a motion cam uh, device does. And I can zoom in 50 times, optical zoom, and I can focus at 8 to 10 feet. So normally when you see videos like this, I'm about 8 to 10 foot away from the subject here. And uh, sometimes you think I'm, I'm standing a foot away from them or two feet away from them, but I'm really 8 to 10 feet away from my subjects here as I'm doing my videos. And uh, the entire video, he's just uh, rubbing his rear wings together. Let's make an in and let's make an out. Make that a favorite. All right. Now, I believe what we have here are a couple Harlequin ladybirds. I know they're ladybugs, they're ladybugs. I've known them all my life as ladybugs, but they actually call them ladybirds. And uh, these two I caught mating here. <laughs> and uh, doing a little research on the mating of ladybirds, um, the whole ritual can take hours sometimes. <laughs> they go at this for hours and they'll move a little bit, move around a little bit, crawl around a little bit and proceed to do what they're doing. And uh, just watching a little bit in slow motion. We're going through 60 frames per second in extremely slow motion here. The uh, top, I'm not sure which is, I guess the one on the bottom is the female and the one on the top is the male. The coloration is different on uh, the two of them. You wouldn't think they're even possibly the same species. And uh, they really go at it. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, find an endpoint and uh, let's find an out point call that a favorite all right now let's move on to butterflies here beautiful little butterfly just sunning himself in the sunlight there doesn't do much more than move his wings around. All right. Now yeah, we might even have the same butterfly, but now he's in a positioning where he's opening and closing his wings. There he goes out of focus, so we'll make that the out. We'll make that the in. Make that a favorite. And then we have, I believe it's an Eastern Pond Hawk Dragonfly. Um, he's just landed. The light is sort of harsh, I would call it. I don't have him well lit. He's more silhouetted. But you sure can see his... Uh, breathing they suck air in on the side of their bodies right underneath the the forward wings and I believe they pump the air the whole way down through their tail area and it helps cool them and uh, you can not so much in the slow slow motion but if I scrub through a little bit you can see him breathing there especially in the shadow and then he takes off and 
lands and takes off and goes somewhere else. So let's make that an out. Let's make that an in. Call that a favorite. And now we'll just uh, take a look at what we have uh, for favorites on our photo walk. <music>